Hello, this is Jonathan Stark, and I've been wrestling with a weird bug in Xcode when trying to build PhoneGap projects using PhoneGap 2.1 and iOS 6 and iOS 5, really. Um, Xcode, Xcode 4.5, I think, might be uh, upgrading to uh, Xcode 4.5 may have caused the problem, but the, the thing is the bug is super squirrely and weird, and sometimes it shows up and sometimes it doesn't. I can't reliably reproduce it. Uh, so I'm going to bang around against it in hopes that the screencast will help someone else see how crazy this is uh, and maybe be able to fix it. So the issue, uh, I googled around for the issue and found this page in the uh, Google Groups forum for PhoneGap. And uh, it was started by Oliver Brand, issue in Xcode Cordova 2.0. And this has been going on since July. So let me see if I can demonstrate the bug. Uh, sometimes it, like I said, sometimes it crops up and sometimes it doesn't. But I'm going to start by downloading the most recent version of PhoneGap. Completely start from scratch. While that's happening, I'm going to point out that my Mac version is 10.8.2. All right, PhoneGap's downloaded. And we'll go in here and drop the bin folder on terminal. So I CD right into that directory. And I've got this, uh, this create string already set up to create a hello world project. Okay, bingo, that's done. going to launch Xcode. This is so weird. Now I can already see I've got an error here, which is not normally what happens. I'm going to clean. Error disappeared. That might be because I... <laughs> this is so weird. I, I was getting an error before I started this screencast. I threw everything away, I started over, and somehow the error persisted in Xcode. It must like cache the error or something, I don't know. Uh, project with the same project name, ah, it's totally bizarre. Uh, now if I run this on the simulator, it generally always works in the simulator. Let's see if it works. Okay, that worked. Actually, that launched really fast, which makes me think something weird is going on, but... Now let's try a different, let's try an iPhone 5.1 simulator. It's a little bit more like it. it. Takes a long time. And clean up the space here a little bit. All right, so that usually does work. So that's fine. Now let's try and run it on the device. And often you'll get an error here. And this is going to run on my uh, iPhone that I've got plugged into the, the Mac with a USB cord, of course. The iPhone OS is 6.0. I don't think that has anything to do with it though, to tell you the truth. It's an iPhone 4. Yeah, so there's my error. And usually what happens is once you get this error, there's you're never gonna get around it. Like it might work a couple times, but then as soon as you get the error, it's never gonna go away. Uh, I'm gonna try and run this on my uh, iPod Touch, which is still OS 5. Point one, I believe. Let me check. General about. Uh, 
it is version 5.1.1. And if I run it there, immediately fails. Clean, build. Curious if just building will work. God, how do people develop with this? It takes forever. Okay, failed again. So that's the, the iPod. Um, I think it's the third gen iPod. It's not the brand new one, but it's the one right before that. And it's, uh, like I said, 5.1.1. All right, so Shaz posted a link in that forum that somehow led me to a page that has a really long URL, so I created a bit.ly link for it. It's bit.ly.com slash uh, PBX PROJ, PBX Proj. And this is an updated, this is a, an updated file. It apparently isn't uh, in, it's a Cordova file that apparently is not in 2.1 yet. And it's long mess that you don't really have to worry about too much. Um, I'm going to show you the corresponding one in Xcode. Uh, if we go to the file browser and go to Cordova, I'm going to show that in the finder. I'm going to right click on that, show package contents, and here's this, here's the, my local copy of it. All right, so the difference between these two files is to do with the uh, architecture. So this is my local copy of the file, which you can see is it just says ARMv6, ARMv7. And then Shaz's version is conditional, where it says uh, if the iPhone, for all iPhone OSs, I don't even know how to read this, but um, it's conditional. In some cases, it's going to load ARM v6 and ARM v7, and in other cases, iOS 6, it's going to load ARM v7 and ARM v7s. And then for the simulator, it's i386 still. So you could go through and uh, just make these these couple of changes. There's like three or four changes to make, but I'm just going to select everything, copy it, paste it in here. Uh, I did a diff on the files, and the only differences were those uh, those couple of parts. So I'm going to save this and pray to the demo gods. Clean. Build. Do, 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 do. And while that's running, I'm going to set up my webcam on the iPod in hopes that this is going to launch. No error. So let's run it. And bingo. So that worked. I can't guarantee that it'll work every time because they're, I've, like I said, you can't always reliably reproduce the bug. Sometimes it will work without editing that file. Um, I've seen other people uh, mention that uh, if you go into the build settings for the different projects, let me stop that. Go into the build settings for each that you should change 
this build active architecture only to yes and try and get rid of arm v6 in here is a whole bunch of talk about that and then do the same thing over here uh where is it build active architecture only yes i, I haven't i tried that once and the bug went away um, but then it came back so i don't think that's related and it seems like i mean if you're going to trust anybody it should be shaz so um, those these are the instructions that he posted so and it seems to be working for me so far so hopefully it works for you too later